everyone, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm bringing you some breaking news on Funko's WWE New Wave. Now there's a new wave of WWE Funko Pops coming soon and they have released images of all of those for us. Now this wave does look pretty awesome, there are three chases in this wave which I'm really really interested in and um, I'm just going to run through them now and show you guys uh, the pictures and tell you what I think and what ones I'm looking forward to most getting and um, I was going to drop a video just like this about the new Stranger Things pops but I will do that another day because this has come in and it has been breaking news sorry if I sound a bit bunged up guys I am a bit under the weather and um, let's get on with it and have a look at this wave of Funko right first of all guys we are getting this Vince McMahon Funko pop now this is long overdue I mean Vince is the king of wrestling as we all know there would be no WWE without Vince McMahon he is the guy he is one of my heroes because I love WWE and he is the founder and the creator of WWE. Well, his dad is, but he made it into what it is today. And I'm really glad he's getting this Funko Pop in that nice, really shiny blue suit. Really looking cool. And I cannot wait to pick this Funko up. It's very, very cool to have Vince in a Funko form. And I'm definitely looking forward to this one. We are also getting this chase version of Vince McMahon as well in this nice sort of salmon-y purple suit. And this is more reminds me of an old school Vince McMahon more than anything. Like um, back when he was on commentary and stuff, it does remind me of that in this colour suit. I really do like this and I'd really prefer the chase to the actual normal pop. And I'm definitely going to pick up this chase, even if I have to pay more money for it, because it's something I definitely want in my collection. I would like both, to be honest, because Vince is so iconic and I definitely want the chase. Well done, Funko. This is an amazing chase. I really, really... This will probably be one of my favourite chases. I know it's very simple, but just for the fact of who it is for me, I really, really do like this. Then we have none other than the Olympic gold medalist, the only Olympic gold medalist to ever compete in WWE, Kurt Angle. Now, this is a very nice as well pop. Well done. Like the fact the gold medal's around the neck. It had to be, really. He's got his classic um, um, blue and red singlet on. And he just really, obviously you can tell straight off the bat that is the Raw General Manager Kurt Angle back when he was an in-ring competitor. Well, he still is being in a match in this Sunday at WrestleMania. But uh, this is a really cool looking pop. The bald head as well is easy to nail for Funko. It's just a nice simple look, but Kurt definitely does deserve a Funko pop and I really do like this one. Then, guys, we have the King of Kings himself, the Cerebral Assassin, Triple H. Now, I believe this could be from his WrestleMania 30 attire. Oh, I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that. But this is a really cool-looking piece. I really like it, holding those double sledgehammers. Obviously, Triple H really is well-known for the sledgehammer. And this is a really cool pop. We do have a previously released Triple H pop, which I believe is quite hard to find now. So it'd be nice to get a new Triple H with that... Um, cape on with the hammers and it's looking really really cool really nice uh, pop of hunter there and uh, i really do like that then we are getting this chase variant of triple h which is really awesome uh, he's got the skull face on complete with the crown and all the sort of chain link uh, running down the side of his head which is really really nice i mean it's an iconic triple h entrance from wrestlemania i'm sure of it and it just looks fantastic and i mean it's great to have another chase in this line along with vince mcmahon and obviously, Sonny Lord Triple H is that person that gets the chase. There is one more chase to come in this wave, and I'll leave that to the reveal at the end. But this is a really cool one, nonetheless. Not as excited as it for the as for the Vince McMahon, but this is something I'd definitely like to pick up. I'd probably just get the chase. I wouldn't get the normal one because this one looks better to me and is more iconic as Triple H in his entrance gear. Right, and then we have this cool Hardy Boy 2-pack. Now, I'll show you the pictures individually because I only have them as individuals. And obviously, this is Matt Hardy. I think this is based off of their attire from when they returned at WrestleMania last year and won the tag team titles in that ladder match. This is a more up-to-date version of Matt Hardy I really like with the uh, white streak through his hair where he's now woken Matt Hardy in WWE but previously broken Matt Hardy in Impact and Ring of Honor. And I really do like this. The, the Hardy Boys deserve a double pack and I'll definitely be picking it up. Especially because Woken Matt Hardy and Broken Matt Hardy is such a really cool character. I did prefer him before he was in WWE but now he's gone off the boil a bit but I still really do like Matt Hardy. And obviously as well we've got here Jeff Hardy which is looking really, really cool as well. I really do like this pop. Just based off his attire from the WrestleMania he was in. It just looks like Jeff Hardy straight off. You can definitely tell who it is. And side by side, these brothers definitely deserve 
a Funko Pop set because they're probably the two re best rest of brothers tag team in history of the WWE. And obviously people do prefer Jeff, but Matt has really come up through the ranks over the past few years with his characters. And I really do like this set and I'll definitely be picking it up. And then, guys, we have this Sergeant Slaughter pop. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Sergeant Slaughter. He was never in my era as well before my time of watching wrestling. But obviously, I know Sergeant Slaughter from back in the day and with some of his recent appearances and things. And uh, the Slaughter, it looks a great pop. To be honest, it looks the most interesting and detailed Funko pop of the whole WWE range they've ever done. I love the hat. The whistle in the mouth is a really cool touch. I really do like it. It just screams Sergeant Slaughter to me, like with the green and the, the camo colours. And I really do like this pop a lot. I just think it looks really cool. Even if it wasn't a WWE wrestler, it really does look like a cool Funko pop. And I think I might pick that up. I'm not too sure. And last but not least, guys, we've got the Empress of Tomorrow. The undefeated as a recording of this video. This is prior to WrestleMania. Asuka. Now this looks really cool. This is a pop that I have been asking for. I made a video down on my channel called the five WWE pops that Funko must make and Asuka was on my list. I think she's such a great character. She's got such colourful hair and colourful attire. That attire there is original attire she debuted in I believe in NXT and I really like this pop. I really think it's great and I did suggest they could do this pop and I suggested they could make a chase version of this as well. With the mask on she wears to the ring. And they have done that. Which is amazing as well. I really like the colour of this mask. It really looks really cool. I'm definitely interested in picking up this Asuka. And I'm definitely interested in picking up this Asuka chase. Because I really, really think they're both a fantastic idea. Not just that I called it months ago before they announced this. But I just think they just both look fantastic. And we're also getting this Asuka here with a different variant on the mask. This will be a Walmart exclusive in the US. Hopefully Asdas might pick this up in the UK. I highly doubt it because Asdas are terrible. They don't pick up any of Walmart's exclusive and toy lines hardly ever. No Legends, no Funkos, no Black Series, no nothing. I'm disappointed in you Asdas. But yeah, this looks really cool as well. I do like the green bleeding from the mouth and from the eyes. It really does look cool. And something else I'd like to pick up. So all in all, we've got three Asuka Funkos, which is fantastic. So guys, they were the new pops coming from WWE and Funko. There are three chases in that set, and that's really fantastic. I want that Vince McMahon chase more than I want any other chase at this moment. And I cannot wait for that to come out. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're a fan of WWE, don't forget WrestleMania's this weekend. And I will be dropping a WrestleMania predictions video tomorrow evening. So check that out as well. Subscribe and you won't miss that. I hope you enjoyed this Funko update news video of WWE. I really enjoyed making it. This is a new style of videos I'm looking to make. Just new style of news videos. Just when pop images are first released. I'm just going to show you and talk through them guys. I've got a Stranger Things video coming. Probably going to drop Sunday or Monday. And I've got a Jurassic World one coming as well. So subscribe for that. And like I said guys if you enjoyed this video hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you're already subscribed i appreciate you and please hit that notification bell and uh, don't forget to drop me a comment below and let me know what you think of these funko pops and those chases and don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram links in the description below and don't forget my 200 subscriber giveaway that is linked in the description below as well go and click on that link and enter for your chance to win a chase pork and i'll see you next time guys thanks for watching bye bye